Today, we're going to explore the right time to break up with someone. You see, there are times when breakups are clean cut, somewhat easy. By easy, it doesn't mean that the breakup wasn't painful or difficult. I mean easy in the way that the decision didn't come with a lot of questions. You just knew that you had to leave the person because something happened that made it very clear that there was no future. Maybe that person physically hurt you or someone else, or they were verbally abusive, or maybe they weren't kind or accepting of your children, or maybe you live in different countries but no one can move so the relationship has no legs. These kinds of breakups can be black and white, and yet there are times when there's a lot of gray in the mix, and this is when indecision can hound you as you question over and over again whether this person is good for you long-term or whether it's time to let the relationship go and break up. Hi, I'm Nadine Peart, a confidence, dating, and lasting attraction coach for smart, savvy women and the founder of Healthy You, Healthy Love. Now, before we continue, please be sure to comment below and let me know if there's anything specific you'd like help with and if there's a topic you'd like me to do a video on. I want to find out who you are and what your needs are so I can support you on your path to united and passionate love. And if you're new and haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and the bell button to get notified of my next video. Now back to our topic. If you're asking yourself, should we break up or can we still fix this? Well, of course, I can't tell you to leave or stay, but what I can do is share with you five specific questions to ask yourself that will give you some clarity and help you to get to the root cause of your dilemma so that you can decide what's best for you. Number one, do you love him or like him? So many women who are unhappy and wondering when to leave a relationship will often say something to me along the lines of, I know I need to leave him, but I love him, or I know he's not good for me, but I still love him so much. Here's the thing, so many women mistake obsession and addiction for love. Being in a relationship that is based on the occasional kind act or sexy moment is not a loving relationship. So rather than ask yourself, do you love him? Ask yourself, do I like him? Love really is not enough when it comes to being in an effective and healthy relationship. Ask yourself, does this man have good character? Is he consistently kind? Is he a man of his word? Is he invested in growing and building this relationship? Really, that's all you need to know. You can certainly love aspects of someone, but really, truly loving someone goes much deeper. So I encourage you to check in with yourself to work out what's what. But if this is still not enough to help you decide, then here are some more valuable points to help you work out when to break up. Number two, compatible vision. Are you and your man on the same page? Whether you're in a new relationship or you've been together for a while, it's important to ask yourself if your visions are aligned. Perhaps you feel like you're more invested in the relationship, like you're putting more effort in than the other person, or maybe it's the other way around and you feel that your man is the one who's more invested in the relationship. Understand that you can't force someone to be more into you or vice versa. You both have to want to put in the effort to build a long-term serious relationship. If one is pulling away or it feels as though you're not yet ready to give the same level as commitment as the other one does, then it could be a sign that the relationship isn't going to flourish. The solution is to have an open and honest conversation so you're both clear about what you value and what a healthy partnership and future looks like. This way, you'll both know where you stand and if the relationship has the ability to move forward. If you've talked about this and you still feel like you're not getting any closer to being on the same page, then it's time for you to make that leave or stay decision. Or maybe you and your man are 100% devoted to each other and yet you have very different ideas about your future. He wants kids and you don't. It's not always the woman who wants kids 
Or maybe he wants to live a minimalistic, nomadic life traveling the globe with just one suitcase and you love your comforts, living in a big city and being close to the people you love. Sure, this can be workable or maybe not. It depends on you and him and how far you're willing to compromise. If you're currently with a man who's not committing to you on that deeper level, or you're wondering if there's anything you're doing that's hindering your connection, then please download my free gift called five easy ways to get a man to commit. It will shine the light on the areas of your relationship that might need some attention to inspire deeper devotion and re-spark attraction. The download link is in the description below. Number three, relationship time span. Are you only staying because of how long you've been together? In psychology, they have what they call the sunk cost effect. A 2016 study published in the Psychological Science Journal defines this as the general tendency for people to continue an endeavor or continue consuming or pursuing an option if they've invested time or money or some resources in it. Interestingly, the research also added that this tends to push people to do things that are making them unhappy. In shorter terms, the sunk cost effect is our tendency to not want to let go, end, or pull out of something that we've already put effort into, even if it's not making us feel good anymore. Now, if we were to apply the sunk cost effect to relationships, especially for couples who've been together for some years and perhaps have kids in the mix, often the longer you are with someone, the higher it is for you to realize that it's time to break up. So here's a question I'd like you to ponder on. Are you only staying because of how long the relationship is? Here's a personal story that is somewhat related to this topic. Over a decade ago, I was in a relationship with a man who I really liked. He was fabulous and yet no matter how hard we tried, the physical side of the relationship never took off. We adored each other and yet there was no denying we were not compatible on a few critical levels which saw us more like brother and sister than lovers. So after dating for a few years, even after investing into a tantra and sex therapist, we decided that we were not a match. For some people, the passion grows. For us, it just didn't. The truth is, in the first two months, I knew that it was unlikely to work, but we were both invested in each other, and the longer we stayed, the harder it was to leave because the sunk cost effect had started to shape our decision to stay or break up. As you can see, navigating a breakup isn't always about whether the person is kind to us or not. Incompatibility can show up in so many different ways, which means even though he was one of the most lovely men I'd ever dated and leaving the relationship felt heart-wrenching, and even though there were good reasons to stay, I was staying for the wrong reasons for me. Eventually, we ended the relationship and we become lifelong wonderful friends. If you're truly unhappy, then I don't believe history and invested time should be the reason to stay. If you're a little bored and deep into the comfort zone, then perhaps it's time to add some mystery and spice back into your relationship. Number four, is he your go-to person? Who do you go to when something important happens in your life? Let's say you'll find yourself in the middle of an emergency or you want an all expense paid trip. Who will you call first? Is it your friends or your work husband? If your partner isn't at the top of your mind when something good or not so good happens to you, then you have to ask yourself why that is. Knowing the answer to this question will help you look into what perhaps is lacking in the relationship. Do you have basic fundamental relationship needs that aren't being met? I don't believe that your partner will be able to support you in every way on all levels. That's a huge expectation from one person, and yet when you need him, is he there for you? Communicating your unmet needs and having your standards met with a partner is hugely important for deeper intimacy because when our needs aren't met, it can eat away at our happiness and see us feeling emotionally unsafe in the relationship. If you've previously communicated what you value, perhaps many times, and the result is still the same, then you may already know the answer you're looking for. Now the last question I'd like you to take a look at is number five. How do you do conflict? Conflict is inevitable in relationships. The two of you come from different backgrounds, different upbringings. 
different ways of handling things, so arguments are bound to come up. The different lies in how you two handle these disagreements. If you constantly go below the belt, if you call each other names, harshly criticize each other, and one or both of you are constantly walking on eggshells as bringing up an issue, even a small one, tends to blow up into a huge fight, or one of you just ends up shutting down, then this is something I suggest you take a good look at. People in healthy relationships treat their partners with care and consideration, even when they don't agree on something. So please look at how you do conflict. Even if the argument gets heated, do both of you focus on the issue itself or does the need to be right and the need to be in control tend to run the show and stop understanding and growth from happening? Disagreements when dealt with with some level of compassion and heart will make the relationship stronger. Sure, not all challenges are resolvable and yet most are when two people are invested in the relationship. If you and your partner tend to go in angry, blaming, frustrated circles, then I suggest it's time for therapy to see if you can learn to understand each other more effectively. If that doesn't work, then ask yourself if this is what our loving and mindful relationship feels and looks like to you. So there you go, the five questions to ask yourself and ponder on with some good old honesty. So how did you go? Has this helped you get clear with the real source of why you may want to break up with your partner? I know that breaking up with someone you love or think you love is one of the most difficult things to do. So I encourage you to look deeper into these emotions so you can tell whether you need to break it off or if there are still things you can do to heal and strengthen it. There are people who stay far too long in relationships and there are those who walk away too fast too easily. Which one are you? To help you to further resolve confusion and get more clarity on whether it's time to break up or not, then my program Never Lose Him is perfect. It's broken into three powerful parts that are all needed to keep a relationship alive and thriving. Once you understand each part, you'll be able to recognize what's working, what you can change, and what you should never tolerate so that you can finally experience true united partnership and devotion. You can find the link in the description below. Now before you go, please comment below and let me know if these points helped you and resonated with you and if you have any current concerns with your relationship. And while you're at it, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel as this will allow me to keep creating these videos for you. Just hit the subscribe button below this video and the bell button to get notified of my new videos every week. Of course, if you have friends who could be feeling the same uncertainty with regards to breaking up with their partners, then please share this with them as it might be the very video they need to see to give them the clarity they're looking for. It's been a great honor to have you here with me. I encourage you to choose to show love a little more in some way every day. And see you again at my next video.